Dan Thompson with Technofab Products. We've been manufacturing vacuum jacketed piping for 25 plus years now. And today I'm here to discuss the assembly of our close fit bayonets. As you, I have two pipe samples here with me and as you guys can see the, the, how they come, how you will receive your shipment. They are bagged, sealed, taped, closed. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to disassemble the male bayonet first. Unpackage the plastic wrap. This is not needed. You can set this to the side. Our male bayonets always come with the clamp attached uh, to the male side. So I've got a torque wrench here, and you'll need this for assemblies. What you need to do is just loosen up the nut and disassemble the clamp. Pick that off, and typically when we're doing an assembly, we're, we will just slide that bayonet back so it's over the top and we don't lose track of it. For this video, we're just going to set it off to the side and make sure that the nut is still with it. Okay. You'll also see we've got a bayonet protector here. Slide this off and do not discard this because you'll want to use this as you go through the process. There's also a protective cap to protect the flange. Slide that off and you can discard this cap as well. Inside that cap and up in the O-ring groove is the O-ring that's, that's needed for your bayonet assembly. You can simply pop that out with your finger or if that doesn't work, get a small non-metallic metallic, uh, pry Pop that in there and pull that out. Again, use a non-metallic or, or a wood um, pry so that you're making sure that you're not scratching up the surface of this uh, flange. Once that's out, what we like to do is take a lint-free cloth, wipe down the groove, wipe down the assembly, and make sure that that's in good shape. Also, inspect the male bayonet and verify that there's no dents or dings in the male bayonet. That can affect the assembly process. Once you have the O-ring out, you're going to take a small amount of vacuum grease, vacuum silicone grease, and you're going to grease that O-ring. And you're doing just a real light amount on it, just enough to keep the bayonet uh, moist and you'll see a light shine on that, on that O-ring groove, or on the O-ring itself. Slide that back into place, and then we like to slide the bayonet protector back over to protect it as you're moving it through assembly, as you're getting it into the clevis hangers or wherever it may be. Uh, this piece is now ready to go for assembly. This, this is the female bayonet, again, bagged and capped, so what we'll do is we'll slide this off, set that off, take off the protective cap, again, you can discard that, take your lint-free cloth, wipe down the flange, inspect for imperfections, make sure that it's in good working order. Once that's ready to go, you're ready to assemble your bayonets. Now, at this time, I'm going to assume you have your pipe up in its hangers or it's in its supported positions. So, and, if you have, and I advise you to do that, if you have very long pieces of pipe, it can get heavy and it's a little tough to manage, uh, especially at, you know, off a ladder or up in a lift. Um, line up your bayonets, and this is very important, especially again with the long bayonet, you've got to make sure that you um, have them so that they can slip together because you can damage the bayonets, bend them, and put them in a compromised position if you're not careful. Once everything is lined up and together, you're going to start to slide these together. And right here at this point, with an inch or so left, you want to verify that your O-ring is in, is in the position that it should be and it's sealing up. If this is not where it should be, you need to get it back in there. If you pinch the O-ring, you can't have a leaking bayonet uh, or a frosty joint. At this point, you're going to go ahead and push the bayonets together. Do not twist or spin the bayonets together. You can damage your bayonet to the point where you may not be able to separate it or you could have a, a cold joint if you're not careful. So again, you're just going to push these together. Once they're to that point, they're in good shape. Uh, the last few inches, if you've got elbows or tees, you may want to rotate and make sure that they're lined up just a little bit until uh, they're going in the direction you need them to go. After this, you're going to take your clamp, assemble it onto the pipe, take your torque wrench, and you're going to Tighten down the clamp. Again, don't use a uh, impact wrench or a drill. Make sure you're using a torque wrench or a speed wrench to, to tighten down the nut. This allows the clamp to close evenly around the flange and ensure that you get a good seal. We recommend the torque clamp and use the torque specs that are provided in the installation manual or the owner's manual when you're installing your pipe. If you have any questions, you can always call Technofab and we'll be happy to help. And thank you for watching the video.